One, one interesting thing, given that this is more of a medieval style story game, I was expecting more of a political thing between kingdoms being the main antagonist. But I really like this whole blight thing. It feels more like general Final Fantasy where we're fighting the darkness and not just fighting another kingdom that disagrees with us. You know what I mean? I'm okay with that, but I, uh, I really enjoy the fact that we are fighting like the dankness. We're fighting an evil blight of some kind, like, and the monsters are part of the problem. You know, it's not just, well, I wanted this part of the land. Also, I really liked that fight. Um, I'm already getting the sense of Kingdom Hearts, Devil May Cry style of dodge and punish, which is what I really wanted to see. Um, and it's already being done pretty well, so pretty happy about that. I'm a little curious about how saving works in this game. Is there no autosave? So I've only saved once. I can't save on the world map, which is strange. I wonder what would happen if I quit the game right now. Would I be like... Surely there's some kind of autosave thing, because, like, you don't make a game in 2023 where you can exit out and lose progress. This aging seaboard citadel not only defends Rosaria from northern raiding parties but also serves the sacred ground whereupon the duchy's dominant might commune, commune with his or her ancestors and entreat their guidance on the eve of important battles. <laughs> One way to find out. Let's just close it. See what happens. Yeah, where's my, where's my tutorial about saving? <laughs> Sometime later. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down our mama's gut. <laughs> More tales. Drink and be merry, boys. Gratifying to see your student making such a name for himself. Yeah. This is fantastic. Young Lord, that giant hunk of beef. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. My father, just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Aye. Hmm, Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Father? Why is it? Dominus is always born into our family. Doesn't seem fair. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant. To wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do.
my friends. Louder! <laughs> that like A pose he did was great. Hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease, and I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> ah, kid things. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Barum? That's why you're sick. You don't eat your vegetables. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother the Phoenix, ruler over life and death. Isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength, but you do. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant's shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. To keep our future rulers safe. No matter what. So we did get the blessing. However hard it gets. I'll never let you down. What is mom talking about? Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <laughs> Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Toggle. I'll go. God, they, they're just really milking. They are milking the cute doggo, and I'm here for it. They're milking him for all he's worth. Uh-oh. It's a trap. Supplies from the capital. It's looking a little Trojan. Wow, nice check job. You took your time sampling the wearers, were ya? <laughs> It's a 
Good job the North is full of enterprising traders keen to keep us in wine. Sparrow bar for the boys on What in the Terrible soldiers. Worst gate guards ever. Gateway secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, your highness. Very well. I'm ready. Follow me, your highness. I tell you what. It, it is hard to do kid characters correctly. Like, it's just a very hard thing to do in video games, in, mu in music, in movies. Uh, it, it's hard to get younger characters right. And I really think Joshua is a great character already. Like they are doing really well by him. His dialogue, the way he acts, like it's not overdone to where you're just like, ah, this kid stuff. Like it, it is really believable, really believable as a kid born into power acting like you would expect him to act, you know? Really like his character a lot. The inside the castle. I'm afraid so, your highness. We must hurry. He has this like strange presence of power too, like I feel like he could just absolutely annihilate anyone in his path if he had to. We haven't seen it yet. see it. Everything's on fire. Fall back, your highness. He's not one of us. No, oh, I'm going in. Must do my duty. Oh my. That's my attack. <laughs> see you later. Is very good in an emergency. Staying calm. Hello, gentlemen. Take him. <laughs> See ya. Wow. Okay. Nice. Why would the Empire do this? They're our allies. Uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say they're not our allies anymore.
Yeah. Yeah, he like gets tired after every fireball. I also have Kiraga. Oh my. Yep, that's Kiraga. Your Grace, Lord Murdoch. You rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. I am in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. Now might not be the time for this. <laughs> Straight for the rear gate. The problems of formalities. We gotta move. <laughs> oh my god. This is my new favorite video game. Only a lost Alan. To a son Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. Yep. New favorite video game of all time. It's freaking Crystal Owls. The north gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No! I'm not going without you! You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. I... I know. You have to keep father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. And the piano, it gets me every time. characters they truly act like what you would expect people to act like you know it's so believable all the interactions as soon as i think this is how a character should probably behave here that's exactly how they behave it's so impressive yeah it's not you know i mean this is final fantasy this is square enix i would not be surprised if things were more exaggerated you know, nor would I say it's necessarily a bad thing, but this game is so rooted. It's like, you know, it's got that. I hate to keep bringing it up, but it's got that Game of Thrones feel where it's like everything is very rooted in human nature and it's not doesn't have these very exaggerated 
emotions or characters or dialogues. Like, it, it's... I'm honestly loving it. I'm loving how rooted it... Because it fits the, you know, it fits the style of the game. It fits the... Uh, the time period, the setting. It fits that it would be more rooted. And I just personally like that better, but... Even if I didn't, you know. If I had watched none of the trailers of this game, I would have never expected the game to be like this. Because I saw the trailers, I kind of expected it. Uh, watched the first two trailers, that is, but... Um... You know, if I had not seen anything and I jumped in and this is what I got, I would have been like, what the heck? Especially after like 14, you know, and 15 was a bit more leaning towards realism and less, you know, fantasy. But this is full blown. I mean, we have just gone complete. It's almost almost doesn't fit the moniker of Final Fantasy. It does in my opinion, especially with the crystal power and everything. I, th I think this game is more Final Fantasy than 15 was. But, you know, Final Fantasy... But, you know, if you think about it, and it's like, Final Fantasy 1 was like this. Final Fantasy 2 was like this. Still very rooted in reality, very realistic dialogue and stuff, but then just like fantastical monsters. It wasn't until some of the later games where characters got a bit more exaggerated and, and silly. So this really does feel like a return to the old style Final Fantasy in many ways. I, I thought it was more of a return to original Final Fantasy in terms of just the setting. But it feels like it's a return to form in realism as well, which is really cool. <laughs> or even even a return to tactics, yeah. Damn it all. Funny that we just finished tactics before playing this because there are some similarities. Uh. Yeah, for sure. This game shows that Final Fantasy can truly be anything and work. Escape as you command. You take care of that spell cluster. I'll keep the others occupied. Oh, that's too early. I was gonna be cool and transfer from this guy to the spellcaster with the dodge, but I dodged too early. Wow, this captain did not have a good time. I thought he was gonna be like a boss. <laughs> that's them done. This got blasted. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. Did you see? Brave, look out! Okay, that was epic. May I have this dance? Night of the Blinding Dawn. A dragoon. You are the shield who was blessed by oh my god, this song. Wait. Not Wait, this song save though. You. Sir, can you stop killing me so I can listen to your song? He's jumping. Woo. Stay still, damn you. Come on. Stop. 
still getting used to this timing with the magic burst. Because you can't mash it. Which is kind of cool, actually, that you can't mash it. Time is what? What'd you say? He's open. I hit the right button? No, I did not hit the right button. I hit dodge. Got this song. Double jump. Oh, that's what the Ronald effect was. Dude, you can use potions in the middle of combos. You could be sitting there whacking them and just drop a potion in the middle of your combo. This is definitely not Souls-like combat where you need to be safe to heal. You can just heal whenever the heck you want to heal. Still trying to perfect dodge this whole combo. Trying to get three perfect dodges through that whole combo. There we go. Look at that combo. Okay, I can I. Could I be a complainer? I wish this menu came up like two seconds later. It's like the second I hit my final hit, it's like, boom, menu. Like, I want to see him, like, die. I want to see him, like, hit him, and he goes, what? Instead, it's just like, instant menu. At least I get the cutscene, but... Are you hurt? I'm fine. Just give me like one more second of like blah. So they sent in the dragoons, Imperial Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday, in Rosalith. If they were already among us, what if there were others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. What is that? Sephiroth. Is that Xehanort? Who that? That was cool. Oh, all right. Thank goodness. The doggo's all right. Reunion. Your grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. Hmm? Oh, such an exaggeration. That's not good. Father? 
I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. No. Never mind, I hate this game. Snakes! Stay back! I'm warning you! Run, Joshua! Run! No! Tyler's gonna save him. You must do your duty too. You have to keep father safe. I have to. I had to. Dog, go run. Kill him now. Phoenix. Chocobo to the rescue. Thank you, God. You saved my life. Get her on her feet and run. Please. Joshua, are you in pain? Ah! Uh, not now. Come on! You're his shield. Do your duty. Save him. My lord? Holy moly. Going back to this. I had so much to say about that cutscene, but now here we are. <laughs> I gotta fight Everett.
my god, I'm dealing no damage. Had the song. Oh my god. That's... He did the most... As much damage as I've done this entire fight in one hit. Absolutely grooving right now. I have to stop him. I have to save them. I was just mashing R1, but okay. I feel like Square Enix was just like, we want to do anime battles. How do we do that in the video game? But they were like, I have a plan. <laughs> we can make this work. Straight up anime kaiju battle. The higher ups have demanded it, now make it happen. Oh my god, I can't see anything. With how, like. With how cinematic this is, I'm kind of wondering how on rails it is, like... I mean, it seems like I can lose it. But... Other than that, everything else seems pretty... On rails, like... It's gonna happen the same way every time. But it's still really cool. But it's definitely a bit of a... Uh, QTE battle, you know. I'm not really doing a lot. I'm just moving the cursor and pressing triangle. But dang if it isn't one of the coolest battles I've ever seen. I precisely dodged that. Apparently. Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't like that. Oh, is he gonna do the Final Fantasy X thing? Yes, he is. He lost. Never mind. Just Phoenix things. We won. <laughs> Just at that at that moment, we won.
Holy. <laughs> Good lord. I'll kill you! I'll fucking kill you! There you go, buddy. Let me know if you need anything else. Quite a mess that monster made. Damn shame about the Phoenix, but can't be helped. Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Joshua was my world, and now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Your Grace, over here. I'm sure she'll be so glad to see me. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. Take this one. <laughs> Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. And now the game starts. <laughs> oh, is that the end of the demo? Nice. That's good. We'll only get a bit further before we quit today so that everyone will have a chance to catch up and get further than me. If they haven't already.
All right, hold on. This is going on tour. I, <laughs> I have got to talk about what we just watched. So, like, first of all, I thought Tyler, that's his name, right? Tyler. It's been a lot of names so far. I thought Tyler was going to save uh, Joshua because Joshua saved him, right? It was the part where he saved him. So I thought he was going to, like, come back and save Joshua. But uh, that didn't happen. But that's fine. Because that moment where Joshua was, like, covered in his own father's blood, walking forward with the phoenix, like, summoning out of him. Oh, my God. That was, like, the coolest freaking thing ever. I was already saying, like, how cool it was that he has that power inside of him. And, like, before, when they were at the feast... I was wondering, like, I wonder if anyone, I wonder if there's any, like, disdain, because usually in these kinds of stories, when you have a young character who has some kind of special power or a medieval story where the son of the king has, like, authority over you, there's always someone that gets jealous and there's always someone that tries to kill the prince because they're jealous because they're not the son of the king et cetera, et cetera, you know? Um, so I was wondering, I was like, I wonder if there's any like disdain with any of these characters and Joshua. But then there was that part where uh, they save Joshua and Joshua heals Tyler. And it felt like they all had like this common like appreciation for Joshua. So that was kind of neat. And then to see that part where he turned into the Phoenix like, oh my god, that was crazy. And, man, the brutality. I mean, straight up Mortal Kombat levels of just, whoop, off with your father's head. Wasn't even like a slow motion. Wasn't even like uh I mean, it was just instant. He went after Joshua, and Elwin jumped in the way, and then just head off. And then... Joshua staring at his father's decapitated head and with his blood all over him. Like, holy cow. That was just, I mean, I was expecting it, and yet it still kind of caught me off guard just because this is Final Fantasy. This is the same game, or this is the same series that Vaughn and Pinello are in. <laughs> this is the same series that, like, Gallif is in, you know, like we're <laughs> so it's still even you know this the la the previous game was Final Fantasy 15. The previous game had Prompto in it. Okay. So like even though I was expecting it, it still kind of caught me off guard when he was just like bloop off with your head. And then that part where Ifrit, quote unquote Ifrit, because he actually actually he hasn't been called Ifrit yet is just tearing Phoenix apart and it looked like he tore his head off. But then at the end, I realized his head was still attached. So I don't think he tore his head off, but like he was just ripping him apart. And Clive is like screaming. And by the way, that voice acting was just insane. Like, holy cow. It was so good. But Clive is like screaming. And then uh, he shot that the Phoenix shot that beam into his face and I was like okay something's gonna happen here and then that moment it literally felt like a Mortal Kombat fatality because of the way it like if you watch it back it did like that crunch when you do a fatality in the new Mortal Kombat games and it shows like the bones it did that same like crunch and like slow-mo effect where he just bit his mouth like he was shooting the beam and then Ifrit was just like, stop it. It just like bit his mouth down with his mouth, I think. I couldn't tell if it was his mouth or his hand because they were like a big clump. But I think it was his mouth. I think he literally took his mouth and closed his mouth with his mouth. <laughs> and then they both just friggin exploded. And I was like, what the heck did I just watch? Oh, my God. <laughs> like, geez, what an insane moment that was just. Wait, he might have a chance to survive? And then, nope. Just chomps him down. Like, you're not having... I'm not having none of this. 
Ah, oh, that was so wild. And then, of course, the mom. Which, man, I just... What an awesome, like... I really feel the themes and, like, emotions that they're going for. It's got this amazing medieval power sex you know debauchery going on where there's all these characters that there's honor but then there's like this this also force on the other end that is tyranny and and just how it all melts together like oh man i love it i, I love the way we're going with this i love that she was already kind of evil, but at the same time, you know, we weren't sure. But the way that she kind of talked to him and tried to use her power over him and he rejected it. I knew it was going to come back later in some way. You know, I didn't know if she was going to be the main villain or not. But like, you know, she definitely gave out the, it gave off this vibe of like something is going on here. Like it's just done so well. So well, and, and I immediately got uh, sent back to that moment where she gave uh, Clive that look. It totally like brought me back to that moment. That moment is so memorable to me already because it was kind of the, the seeds of discontent there. Man, how cool. How cool is that part? And now we're back. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Wait, what's the problem? I mean, it's possible. We just need to wait till I play it. And then we can talk for the next year if we want. <laughs> you gotta be patient. You gotta let me experience it. And then we can all talk about it. Just like I was patient and waited to play the game so that you guys could play it first. All I ask is that you're patient with me and let me experience it, and then we can all come together and talk about it. You know? It's, yes, it, you know, I wish I could say, what do, what do you guys think about the mom and where we're going with this? But that would, uh, that would just be asking people to spoil the game for me. So we just have, you have to be patient. You have to wait. And we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head... I know, I know what you mean, but it's just... Yeah, it's, it's a byproduct of Twitch. Like, I would love to play through these games and every time something happens, be like, okay, chat, what do you guys think is going to happen? And then we discuss, and then we see what happens. I would love to do that, but it's just not possible because people will spoil. People will say things that they know and act like they don't know, but they'll say it because they know... So it's just one of those things, you know, I wish we could, but where there's a way people will ruin it. So we just have to be patient and just all enjoy it together. And then we can go back and talk about what we thought about different parts. I wish it could be different. I really do. But it's just the way it is. And is. I've tried that in the past. And, you know, unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. But I, I feel the same way as you do. I wish we could just totally open it up all the time and be like talk about theories and everything but that's what multiple playthroughs are for you know we play through it again afterwards and we can all discuss things as they happen and what we thought was going to happen and everything like that that's kind of the time to do that but i agree I, I wish that wasn't a byproduct of of the internet but that's just the way it goes subs thank you so much for the crazy raid i have the uh, my alerts paused right now because we're in cutscenes and playing a new game but Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you had a great stream. Appreciate it, man. Oh, man, it has been nuts. I don't know. So we're we just finished where the demo cuts off. 
I didn't play the demo, but chat let me know that the de this is where the demo ended. So if you played the demo and you haven't played past the demo, this is now spoiler territory for you. Although really, seeing as though we jump back in time, I don't think anything's going to be like spoiled right this moment. But uh, just so you know, this is post demo. Um, and yeah, oh my God, man, <laughs> this game has been truly incredible. Um, I'm loving it so much. Yeah, Livestream brings up a good point too, and that's what I try to talk about with Fantathon, is that even if my experience would be better with certain things told to me, I personally prefer to mess up. I personally prefer to experience the game in the way I experience it first, so that I have an actual real opinion on the game, and I'm not just echo chambering. Um, if I allow everyone to tell me exactly how I should feel about every scene or every possible uh, theory as to what's going to happen, it's going to curve my ability to get give my own perspective. And I want to be able to give my complete own perspective on the game. I don't want to just see someone else's thoughts and be like, oh, he's probably right. And then he ends up being right. And then I don't really have my own addition to give to anything. You know what I mean? Um, I want to be able to give my own processes, my own experience. Um, and then when I'm done with the game, I can give it a review. I, I don't do official reviews, but I can review it in a way that's true and not just an echo chamber of everyone in my chat saying that, you know, something in me just regurgitating it. You know, I would never want to be an echo chamber. I never want to be just a repeat of what my chat is saying i want to be me i want to give my opinions i want you guys to be able to disagree with my opinions i don't want to be that guy that's just gonna repeat 80 percent of what chat's saying and then just disagree with the other 20 percent i want to be able to have people disagree with me have people agree with me have discussions on things so byproduct of that is we kind of have to just chill until I can get through the game and just talk about what's happening on screen. So, you know, but like I said, I agree with you. I wish we could live in a world where we could all kind of just chat about the game as if we've never played it and experience these moments all together for the first time. But I don't want to take away people's first plays of the game either. You know, I want you guys to be able to play the game before me. So that's why I play it a day after and give you guys the weekend to play the game before I continue on Monday because I want you to have your own first experience. But because of that, you have to allow me to have my first experience. So. You were here for the first play of 50. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this one's going a little better. Put it that way. Our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. What's that? Just a story trophy. 